couple of hours ago, we got this race underway. It was always bound to be busy, particularly at the sharp end of a hotly fought LMP2 field. 14 cars in total in LMP2. And in fact, make that 22 once you lump in the Pro-Ams as well, starting in a slightly separate grid. They were split after qualifying. And James Allen from the back of the order. The number 12 Wockenspiegel Team Monschau car, driven by Torsten Kratz, got into the LMP3 lead fairly early on. And Derek de Boer gave Sarah Bovey a stonking fight out front. Then we had this mistake from John Falb. He caught a bit too much curb at turn uh, 12, well, 11 and 12, the first parts of the Aqua Minerale sequence. And that spat him off into the gravel, meaning that a full course yellow would come out. Ryan Cullen uh, was overtaken by Luca Giotto and in the process put off the road into the gravel trap. And then Giotto's car carrying a touch of damage on the front right dive play. That was corrected at the first pit stop, though, for that car. They gave it a new nose. Giorgio Roda in the number 77, taking a clean sweep of pole positions to date. This was David Hanemeyer Hansen's error, though, into Rivazza in. And the car rotating up on the kerb and needing to be recovered by the marshals, the ever-efficient marshals at turn 18. As the first speed limit of 80 kilometers per hour came out, and we've had a total of four of those now. We're currently on the virtual safety car, which will automatically lead to a full safety car period. This was a untidy moment between the DKR Engineering LMP3 and Johnny Lawson in the Formula racing car. Off into the gravel would go the Dane at Piritella. Terrific overtake, we think, by Sarah Bovey on Derek Duboa. Certainly in our ears, it was outside of the uh, full course yellow because the countdown was still being done as that overtake was being completed. But we've had a message on the screen to say that 85 Porsche is now under investigation for a potential FCY infringement. More news on that to follow. Great fighting as usual in the LMP2 ranks, particularly then when they have to deal with traffic at the same time. And there was a bit of contact actually that time for Luca Giotto, the second time he drove across the grass there on the approach to the Grassini chicane. First time being put there by Ryan Cullen in the number 10 car. And then pit stops happening once more for LMP2s. These cars pitting after about 40 minutes or so although the full-course yellows have given them a bit of their fuel mileage back again. By the half-distance marker 15 or so minutes ago, these LMP2s had generally pitted twice, with their third pit stops happening on the, on the race hour, at least. Ollie Caldwell at Toza had no track to aim at at all and was elbowed out into the gravel in the Algarve Pro number 25, so it would take him some time to recover, and he's still only ninth as we speak, and that's uh, in the middle of a pit stop phase. But terrific driving so far from Johnny Edgar in the AO by TF Sport car, now being taken over by Robert Kubica, but also a spectacular opening stint from Manuel Maldonado. Sadly, they were under a safety car after the demise of the 37 of Paul Luc Chatter, now out of the race here at Imola. So a look at the... Uh, provisional classification, if you like, because we're only two and a quarter hours into this at this stage, but 75 laps completed for the 8 by TF Sport Car of Robert Kubica, leading Richard, uh, Richard de Geras in the EDEC Sport Car, Oli Gray for Inter-Europol competition, rejoining in third from his pit stop, ahead of Artur Klerk for Panis, Marino Sato for United, and Stefan Riquelme in the Vector Sport car. Then it's the 43 of Vlad Lomko and Fabio Scherer. They've both had pit stops as well. LMP2 Pro-Am, led by Alessio Rivera's number 83 AF Corsa car. Uh, all these Oricas. Rene Binder in the Proton competition, number 77, is second. So that's the Georgia Road uh, pole sitting car, now running second place, ahead of Richard Mille by TDS and Gregoire Sose. And the Algarve Pro Racing car of Alex Quinn, fourth in the category. And a little further down, the number 21 United Order Sports car, which is now Andy Merrick. 23rd overall is where we find the Euro International LMP3 race leader. And Adam Alley in that car 
with, there's Daniel Alley in the number five for RLR, but uh, brother Adam is joining Matthew Richard Bell in the number 11. And as far as their long stops are concerned, they've done one of them now and still need to do one in the final pit stop of a minute and 50 seconds. Jean-Baptiste Lahaye for Ultimate, ahead of Bernardo Pinheiro for Team Virage. And the LMGT3 race leader is Rahel Fry for Iron Dames, number 85, ahead of Casper Stevenson's Racing Spirit of Le Mans, Aston Martin, number 59. And then it's 57 Kessel and 63 Iron Lynx for Esteban Masson and Axel Jeffries, who had a superb tussle not too long ago. Esteban Masson overtaking the Zimbabwean driver on the outside